Hi folks, it is good to see you again, and I'm sitting here on the world's most comfortable couch. Just to my left here, I have two beautiful wooden instruments hanging on my wall. There's the little ukulele, which is kind of a piece of junk, but hey, it looks nice. It just goes out of tune 10 seconds after you strum it. That one's more of a decoration. Then I got my Appalachian dulcimer, which you'll be familiar with if you've watched this channel for any length of time. So you probably think that I'm going to play you a song, but today I'm going to talk to you instead, and I want to talk to you about a word called pareidolia. It's a word that I just recently learned. What it means is, basically, when you perceive patterns in randomness, patterns that aren't really there, and specifically, it's when you see faces in things that don't have a face. So if you look at this Appalachian dulcimer, for example, it's got the two eyes, and the mustache, and the mouth, and a little goatee beard, and I've always thought that it has a face, and it's kind of watching over me as I sit here on the couch every day, which is sort of comforting to be watched over by a beautiful homemade acoustic instrument. But the fact is, it's not really surprising because I will see faces everywhere I look. In a house, front door, two windows, to me that's a face, and it's either friendly or angry or stern looking. Car headlights, um, it'll have the two headlights and the grill. The grill to me always looks like kind of a, a mouth bearing its teeth. Often the faster cars have more of an aggressive look to them and kind of the older ones look a little bit more benign, a little bit more friendly. Probably you're the same. Probably everyone has a tendency to pareidolia in them. But ever since learning the word, it kind of became embedded in my mind as a concept, and I even started taking photos of anything that I saw that looked like a face, and I amassed a pretty substantial collection of these pretty quickly. So today, I thought it'd be fun just to share some of my best face images that I found around the house and around the property with you, and hopefully you enjoy them. If not, if you don't see the faces in them, well, sorry but I think you will. You will probably get as much of a kick out of it as I did, maybe more. If you enjoyed this, if you also see faces everywhere you look, just leave a comment below. So I realized that this video didn't really have anything to do with music, other than the fact that it started with talking about musical instruments. If you're expecting a song, well, sorry we didn't have one this week, but we have more than 200 on the channel, so you can always go back and browse through some of our older music videos. We'll definitely have something music-related next week, so until then, see you later.